Okay, can you guys see this? I don't really have makeup on, but I have a lightning bolt of freckles on my nose. You do? It's very prominent right now. Yeah, it's so prominent it right now. It kind of looks like a scar. Yeah, it does. Is Ew, it a birthmark? Don't put this in the vlog. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to this channel and welcome to our new home. We've been moving the house for like a week now, I think. Not even. Has it been a week? Wednesday. Is it? That's today. Yeah. It's oh, been it a has week. been a week. A whole week. Wow. Everything's pretty much set up now. We're getting there. I actually yeah. cleaned out some of the more of the room today, which I've got to show you. Cool. But yeah, we have just been like so freaking busy. That's why there was no vlog last week and yeah. there's two this week. Really sorry about that. But what have we been doing? It took us a while to, um, to get the Wi-Fi to work in this area. Yep. Mm. Um, but we've literally been working and we went to the Swell Festival. Yes. Which is so fun. Oh my god. Tomorrow, so they were like, yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah, the part of the, the, the experience. Wow. Part of party, right? <laughs> <laughs> we were like, wow, is this all a yeah. part of the, the yeah, art? Like it's filled up with sand, it's all oh, over. Oh, true. Oh, okay. It looked so, like it was a part of the whole thing. It looked really yeah, cool. Yeah, I know, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Take pictures of that. Yeah, it's so cool. Not too far. We'd actually like to have it like that. Yeah. Because it is, yeah. No, it's kind of cool. Glad you appreciate it. <laughs> People go in and think it's part of it. Oh, you got to sneak in through a little hole. Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> seriously, don't go in there. <laughs> this is not, that's not the art. Seriously, please don't go. <laughs> Do you love living down here? I do. We live so close to the beach. We just went to the Kurum and Swell yeah. Festival and it was absolutely magnificent. Yeah, so cute. We live about yeah. 10 minutes from everywhere. Everywhere that we love, we live 10 minutes from now. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And it was in the dark. It was pretty, pretty dark. Beautiful. Yeah, that Beautiful. was fun. And then we've also just been kind of um, going to cafes around our little new little neighborhood exploring exploring with the girls and everybody here watching. we went to an organic farmers market up the mountain yes that was beautiful so pretty i think like, we have a couple pictures from that so 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 beautiful beautiful views we met the owner he explained the whole history of the farm yeah i just like supporting so local produce places instead of like the major supermarkets but yeah. our goal today is we're going to go around town where we live and find grocery stores that we love. So we've already been to one, which we didn't film. But I, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is Zoe's dream. This is my dream. She I love grocery, grocery stores. stores. The one that we went to today was a mixture of Whole Foods and kind of like general American grocery stores, I feel. They're a bit mm. different to what they're like in Australia, but it was really cool and it's one of my faves and I wish I filmed it to show you guys, but well, just imagine Whole Foods. Plus they're playing Frank Ocean. What a yeah, vibe Yeah, just a grocery vibes shop. after vibes in yeah. that grocery store. Yeah, really Even cute. you liked it and you don't I like grocery it, shopping. I loved it and I really don't like grocery shopping. So now we're gonna go to another one and you guys can actually come with us. Cool. Big B books. What'd you get? Um, okay, I read that book in high school and mm -hmm. it's called The Five People You Meet in Heaven and I honestly raved about it so much. <laughs> you talk about like, it all the time. Oh no, I don't know, it was just an amazing book and then they had like a, a series of it on Netflix. It wasn't as good because it was only like two episodes that were really long but the book I really liked and I just found another book by the same author. It looks really cool, yeah, the timekeeper. So I'm excited to read it. And then we got these from my good friends back at home. Hi guys, we just wanted to quickly talk to you about the sponsor of today's video. It is Vush. You've probably definitely heard of this company. You know what they sell. You know you, that they sell all those fun toys. But today we wanted to talk to you about their self-care intimate range. You know that we're all about self-care and self-love. 
They sent us some products that we wanted to show you guys. We're really excited. Um, Especially because this is all about self-love. And yes. we are two women, obviously, and two women in relationships. And we both love each other. And we both love to take care of each other. <laughs> <He's> so cute. <laughs> All right, so we'll talk to you a little bit about the products that they sent us. My favorite one personally is the menstrual cup because I have literally been saying lately that I wanted to stop using tampons and use a menstrual cup. And then they sent us that in the pack. So I was really excited because tampons just create so much waste. Okay, so the next one that we have is an intimate gel. Um, obviously, this is an intimate gel for most of you who know that's obviously due for, you know, down there when intimate it comes stuff. for intimate things. Um, do you <laughs> wink? It, every time I say intimate, Zoe has to wink. Yeah, so this is a beautiful, um, non greasy, non sticky um, gel, and it, it's amazing. So it's really good to put on your um, toys, and it's you know, it is for You know what it's for. Problem. You know what it's for. It's intimate purposes. <laughs> so this is what the packaging looks like, which I think is so cute and so light and beautiful and airy and pink. Lastly, this one is, I'm literally going to use this when I go have a shower right now. This is intimate wash. So it has been designed to be safe to use on your intimate parts, but it's also can be used as a body wash because it is safe. It is fresh. It is fragrance and alcohol free. It is sensitive skin friendly. I love that this company is mainly obviously for women and it's about self-care for women and I know I love women and I know I, I am a woman, woman too. so especially you yeah I love you too we have put the link down below for you guys to go and get Vush products you know the other stuff that they have on their website if you're interested in getting those too and you can use my discount code it is 50 Zoe B the discount code is also linked down below if you want to go and get some Vush products go get them now and don't forget to love yourself. <laughs> so far we've been to three grocery stores. And I'm having a good time. I'm having the best time. Yeah. But we're kind of just looking at what's around. I like that this store has vegan stuff. So vegan. I don't, there's nothing in particular that I want. We're kind of just looking around. Yeah. I've been looking for that everywhere. This is my favorite drink on earth. I don't know if I've told you guys before, but this is the goat drink. Whenever you feel nauseous in any way or any kind of sickness, honestly, I drink this and I feel a thousand times better. It's basically just apple cider vinegar mixed with grape flavor, but it's all organic and oh my God. I actually <laughs> can't wait to drink it. Let's go home so I can drink it, please. You cannot help yourself, can you? <laughs> I just bought the cutest top and Zoe got the cutest rug and I'll show you in the front entrance. It's going to be so cute. I love that store. We got you. We got Cody a present. <gasps> oh, the tarot cards! Oh my god! <gasps> and they're the original proper tarot cards. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to read your book? Uh, do you have to have like skills to do it? Or do you yeah. have to Cody! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta learn the language of the tarot. Um, Cody is a professional tarot reader. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be like those girls on TikTok. They're like, mm, the fool. I'm going to tell you. 